Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. We've got another Sharks in the News episode for you again today and this news came out just over a week ago but it's quite interesting because I actually did a video on this in season one. In the previous episode I discussed how shark attacks or shark bites as I like to call them appear to be increasing in Australia. And yes, I am sorry for the clickbaity title that lured you in. <laughs> Well, in today's episode, we've got the yearly International Shark Attack Files report from the Florida Museum of Natural History. ISAF is a collection of all the shark bite reports that have occurred around the world from the past year, and it's really, really important data that scientists can help use to identify patterns and trends in interactions between sharks and humans. So let's have a little dig into the numbers and see what went down in 2020. ISAF investigated 129 alleged human shark interactions in 2020 and confirmed 57 unprovoked bites on humans and 39 provoked bites. It is, however, important here to distinguish between the two words unprovoked and provoked. An unprovoked bite is where there was no provocation from the human on the shark, whereas a provoked bite is classified as an interaction where the human initiated that contact. This could be harassment or touching the shark, spearfishers spearfishing, or people attempting to feed sharks. It could also be scientists attempting to tag sharks, and these bites do occasionally happen. Putting this into context with previous year's data, it's interesting to see that the 2020 57 Seven unprovoked bites is actually lower than the five-year average of 80. However, ISAF does report that there were 13 shark fatalities this year, 10 of which were classified as unprovoked, and this is up on the annual five-year average of four. This comes as no surprise, as there have been several high-profile shark bites in the past year featuring in the news in America, Australia, and the Caribbean. So, putting this all together, attacks have fallen, but fatalities have increased. Why might this be? Well, firstly, I think the impact of the pandemic can't be understated in terms of its effect on lowering the number of shark attacks. Most countries had some form of a lockdown last year and many people weren't traveling to beaches and seaside resorts. Less people in the water ultimately means less shark bites. Whereas the fatalities being slightly up this year, I would probably put down to random chance, and it's likely more of an anomaly than anything else. I did touch on the reasons why fatalities might be occurring in my previous video on this, and again, I think it's likely due to the size of the shark causing the bite, the location of the bite on the body, and the distance that person was from medical attention. Again, it's very difficult to pin this down to one causal reason, and I think it's likely a multitude of different factors. So, some very interesting data coming out from ISAF this past year on shark bites, and it'll be really interesting to see how shark bites pan out in 2021. I also did a brief interview with The Daily Jaws on this issue, where we discussed the numbers and some of the reasons behind them. The Daily Jaws is a really cool channel that produces some awesome content on Jaws the film and sharks in general, and hopefully I'll be featuring across on that channel a little bit more in the coming months. If you wanted to check out that video, I will post the link to it in the description below, and make sure to subscribe to their channel. To anyone who's watching from The Daily Jaws, I hope you enjoyed this brief rundown, and thanks for popping across to Shark Bites. I'll also be posting the link to the ISAF reports again in the description below, where you can have a read of it for yourselves. So, do you have any theories on these numbers from ISAFs? What do you think the stats are going to be for Shark Bites in 2021? I want to know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below, where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.